Where are we at? You don't even know. We're in Denver. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in Denver for a meetup and we're gonna check out Jax's new bus. Yeah, we met Jax at the RTR the beginning of this year. Yeah, we hung out with Jax. Me and Jax went exploring on the Razor. We had a good time. And he posted that he was having a meetup here. <laughs> we went to a meetup last night at the Jack's Austin hosted. We're at Coachwork Customs. Uh, Colorado Custom Coachworks. Colorado Custom Coachworks. Yeah. And Jax is going to show us around his bus that he is building. Yep. So if you guys remember from the last video uh, over at the RTR, hello again. Uh, I sold that bus, and uh, this is my new one, and it's already been converted to run on vegetable oil. So I don't know if you want to see that part of it first, or yeah. Okay. Give you guys like a brief tutorial. Not to get too like specific about stuff because I know it can get technical and kind of lose people after a while. So I'll give you the simple version. So right over here we have a 100 gallon, uh, 120 gallon fuel tank. There's basically two RV uh, semi truck tanks that we welded them together. Wow. Uh, so after that it goes into a heated filter. It goes over to a heavy duty pump and then on into the engine. So basically, you got to keep the oil nice and hot, so we wrap the coolant lines and the fuel lines together. And then basically it goes on into the engine. And I have like a little selector switch on the inside, uh, you know, next to the dash. And I start it up on diesel. Uh, once the temperature gets kind of high, I just literally press a button. There's no hiccup. There's no diff. The only difference is if you have your nails at, uh, nose at the tailpipe, it'll smell like, uh, you know, like french fries yeah. or waffles yeah. or something. Yeah. So. Wow. But, uh, yeah. And then so, all of a sudden you're driving for free. Drive, yeah, just if, like that? Yeah, if you can find it for free, you're driving for free. Hit the switch and uh, it's free. It's not the easiest thing to find. Yeah. It's not like everybody's sitting Especially on, if you're traveling. Yeah, that's a hard part. But yeah. you can also do like waste motor oil, other things. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying awesome. to cut my cost because as you know, that's a huge cost. fuel yeah. is the biggest that's expense That's our biggest, that we face. yeah, exactly. So, like it actually it makes us stay put in places sometimes longer than we'd actually like to yeah just because we can't just keep moving and moving and moving yeah it's just too it's too yeah. much money yeah last bus i put like thirty thousand miles in like a year and a half or something like that so it was a lot of driving we've done about um, 15 in a year yeah as you know it adds up real quick. yeah yeah, yeah it and does youtube isn't some uh, in, get rich quick no it's, it's <laughs> not exactly. it's so not trying to be creative and see how i can you know yeah. On the road. So how many watts of solar did you do? Uh, we've got 680 watts of ZAMP uh, US made solar panels. They're oh, wow. really good. Um, cool. And then we haven't even wired it in yet, but we have you know a shore power inverter just yeah. like you guys do. Awesome. Uh, we've got life light batteries. How many, um, how many amp hours? Uh, we've got 400, so they're two 406 volt okay. batteries. Cool. Um, and so they, were, they generously donated them. Uh, Victron Energy, you know, donate all the other components and ZAMPs, you know, so I was super fortunate with that. Oh, yeah. Um, as you know, it's, it's not a huge expense. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, I was really glad to have the shore power uh, connection. Yeah. So if I leave it parked someplace or Airbnb it in the summertime or something, I don't have to worry about somebody ruining my solar system and just plug it in. Yeah. So. What are you going to do the, the, what do you call it, the split AC? No, I'm actually going to no do AC? something that people haven't done before, at least I haven't seen before. I'm getting a uh, swamp cooler, oh, okay. like an RV swamp cooler. Yeah. So that only draws four and a half amps. Yeah. Uh, Turbo Cool is a brand. They contacted the owner and we worked out and something. So awesome. I'll be installing that. It's kind of like a sneak peek. So you should um, be able to be cool all solar. If I'm in the Western United States, I should be cool. I should have solar powered air conditioning. So awesome. It's not technically AC, but more or less a way Very to stay cool. cool. So how much bigger is this one than your last one? <laughs> The last one I had uh, was five windows, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. A little bit, so, so it probably stopped about like right here or so. Where the wheels are, so, so you're good, probably eight feet longer? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There's a surprise for the top, right? What's that? Oh, yeah. So there's a yeah. surprise that we're Yeah, he the won't top. reveal. I haven't said reveal. what it is on my channel. If you guys want to find out what it is, hit that subscribe button and you will find out. It will, will definitely be a first for right. uh, the school bus and 
RV community. And so. I will, there will be a link to Jax's channel and also a link in the video description below. <laughs> So you want guys want to see the inside? Yeah, let's okay. check it out. It's pretty basic. I haven't we, seen the inside we, yet. We put in subfloors, you know, yeah. working our butts off. Awesome. So oh, welcome yeah. to the new bus. Um, as you can see, there's a massive double skylight. We actually fabricated this and cut it out of the uh, roof of the bus, added a max cool. fan over there. Um, this right here used to be a handicap door. So we got a little creative. Um, actually, Mike Navigation Nowhere, uh, this was his idea. So we now have like a pop-up wow. window kind of thing. I like that. Yeah. A little, a lot of air in. Well, yeah, a little different, part. right? I like um, that. So then, uh, yeah, we have another skylight up here. And then these are supports for the deck. We welded these in. Uh, so we will have a, a wooden deck. That's not the big secret. The big, uh, so this is this will be a right above the bed. Yeah, the bed will Pretty go much. about like right, like okay. here. Yeah, like the whole like cool. bedroom. Yeah. Um, that'll be a shower right here, toilet, kitchen on this side. Are you gonna do some type of cover, or if you want to close it, something like maybe you park under a light at Walmart parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. feels like daylight. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> if we'll have like some retractable yeah. thing or. Uh, like a something curtain that, just that slides, slides yeah. or something, but um, That'd be cool. But yeah, so it might come in handy. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm a pretty light, uh, sensitive sleeper. I just need it dark. Yeah, this. Yeah, me too. Like the sound, I can handle. Exactly. I can sleep with tons of stuff. But exactly. The, once it gets bright, you know, my, yeah. my internal alarm clock wakes me up. So Very cool. Go with the light wood too. Yeah. So I'll do cedar. It's gonna look more or less like Mike's on the inside. Navigation nowhere. So really awesome. Yeah, yeah, it gets real bright and real warm. Very cool. Awesome. Those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are great fans. So very cool. Yeah. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to Jax's channel so you can see this bus get built. <laughs> it's gonna be very cool. Cool. Good to see you guys very again. Cool. You too. Yeah. Sucker is stripped to the bone. Check this out, guys. This bus is going to have a ramp on the back here. This already folds down, and a car is going to go in the back. That is awesome. They've already raised the roof. Got the schoolies lined up, guys. They're out here doing some videos. It's Colorado Custom Coach Works. If you need some customizing, some customizing <laughs> on your bus. This was pretty cool. I'm yeah. really starting to. The schoolie trend is rubbing off on me a little bit. The I'm toy kinda... hauler is awesome. That yeah. toy hauler idea. We could fit our bike, our razor, everything, and. We could pull a car if we wanted to, or we could drive around with no trailer for a while. And it will also flip down and make a deck, so we would have a deck on the back of our house. And everybody having the decks on top of the roof is yeah, pretty that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too. And I love how high the schoolies sit up, so they can really take them, you know, yeah, out they, on the trail a little bit if they had to. So. Yeah, they don't have a clearance issue, definitely. Something to think about. Pretty cool stuff. You never know. So anyway, guys, we're going to show you another very cool option in the next video, which will be probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to try to get it out quick. I didn't want to put them in the same video because it just wouldn't do either of them justice. So we're going to check out Ben and Rebecca's Overland vehicle in the next video. It's yes. going to be pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe below. Hit the little bell so you get a notification check out all our other videos if you haven't got to see them yet catch yep. up with us yeah there's something for everyone definitely leave us a comment and let us know what you thought about this video what's your thoughts on the school buses yeah and don't forget to check us out on social media say hi facebook twitter instagram 
and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.